Hello friends, welcome to the second video on CAT 2019 slot 1 BILR. So this is the fifth set, okay. So first of all, I'll read the information and then we'll solve the question, okay. In the figure given below shows a street map of certain region with a street intersection marked through A to L. Uh, we have 12 characters, okay. Uh, a person standing at an intersection can uh, see along the straight lines to other intersection that are in her line of sight and all the other uh, people standing at these intersections. For example, a person standing at intersection G can see all the people standing at B, C, okay, straight lines, then E, F. So G can see E as well, okay, uh, H and K. In particular, person standing at intersection G can see the person standing at intersection E irrespective of whether there is a person standing at F. So G can see F, uh, anyone is standing at F as well as B. Six people, uh, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, uh, are standing at different intersections. No two persons are standing at same intersection. Okay, so they are just at different points. The following additional uh, facts are known. Okay, so we have to we arrange these things away. Uh, so we are given that uh, X, Y, Z are standing at three corners of a triangle formed by three straight segments. Now if you see this figure, the only places can be B, F, G or B, C, G. Okay, so if you see X, U, Z, they can be at B, F, G or they can be at B, C, G. Okay. Then we have uh, X can see only U and Z, okay? U can see only, uh, sorry, Y can see U and W. So U is something which is common with Z, X and Y. Okay. U sees V standing at next intersection behind Z. So we have something like this, U, then Z and then V. Okay. So this is something is there. V, W cannot see V or Z. Uh, no one among six is standing, is standing at intersection B. So this is empty. Okay. So this is the uh, figure we have. Okay. So we can draw this figure additional here as well okay, to see the possibilities. And then finally, when we get the solution, we'll write it here. Okay. So I'll be using black marker here. Okay. So now you see uh, here, U is a very important member because U is part of U, uh, X, U, Z as well as uh, you can see uh, Y as well, okay, and U, uh, Z, V is another sequence, okay. Now, now this is something which I missed, okay. Now, since we already know that U, uh, X, U, Z are B, F, G or B, C, G, okay, so I will we'll take options, okay. So, if U is here, uh, Z and X can be at these two positions, okay. Now, if you see Y, if I put Y here, then X or Z can see it, but Y can see only U or W. We cannot put Y here, we cannot put Y here. So U cannot be at this place. Okay, so we'll try to determine U's position, so U cannot be here. If I write U here, we need U, Z, V. U, Z, V is here. This is the only way we can have it. Okay, because this is something which is empty, D. In this case, this is X. Now, our Y, okay, uh, wait a second, I'll just erase this part. Okay. okay. So, our Y, okay, is cannot be uh, here, okay, our Y can be here. If our Y is here, Y uh, can see U and W. So, Y is here, can see U. Okay. Now, if we put W here, X can see it, which is not possible. This this place is empty. If I put W here, Z can see it, but W cannot see V or Z. So I cannot put W here. That means some or V U cannot be here. So this is also a solution which is not possible. Let's try another okay, another way again. Now what if our U is here at this position? So if U is here, then we have to have Z and V here. Okay, then X is here. In that case, where will be our Y? 
if I put y here, then y can, y can see z and v. If I put y here, then y means y can see x. So the only place left for you is this place, which is at zero. So I write now finally u here. U z v. This should be the sequence, okay, which is given in the point number four. Now this has to be x okay this is an empty cell okay this is for x now there cannot be anyone at a c or as well as uh, z sorry z okay now where can we place y we cannot place y here okay y cannot be here as well y can be here if y is here okay we can place we cannot place w here w here W can be placed here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, all are settled. Okay, we'll just go through the sequence again. X, U, Z are in a triangle. Uh, X can see U and Z only. Y can see U and W only. And uh, U uh, sees V standing at next in next intersection behind Z. W cannot see V or Z, and no one is standing at D. So that is the final sequence. Okay. All other cells are empty. Who is standing at A? There is no one standing at A. Uh, who can we see? We can see Z and U. Z and U. What is the minimum number of street segments that X must cross to reach Y? So minimum is this part. X, U, V. X, V, Y. So it has to cross two intersections. Should a new person stand at intersection D, who among six would see? So if somebody is standing at D, X can see it, W can see it. There's no one else, okay, so X and W can see it. So answer will be option H. So this was set number one. Now let's solve the uh, second set. Uh, so we are given here that uh, in a game show, TV has 100 boxes named uh, numbered 1 to 100 in a row, each containing mystery prize. Okay. Prizes are of types A, B, C, and so on in decreasing order of value. Okay. The most expensive is of type A, a diamond ring, and there is exactly one of these. So A is one. You are told that number of items at, at least doubles as you move to the next type. So B will be two or more than that okay now c will be exactly double means it will be double or more than that okay more than that of uh, uh, b similarly double and plus something okay. now we are told that okay uh, okay then uh, at as uh, as many items of type c and type b and so on there is no particular order in which prizes are placed in the boxes okay so in boxes we don't have an order but in according to this uh, the value we have some order okay so the, the, the because these are mystery prizes okay now what is the minimum possible number of different types of ring so one obviously we have type a which is a diamond ring type b so what, what is the number we can have? We can have two or more than that. So if I write B as 99, if we have 99 such gifts, okay, then we have just two types of gifts and with that we have the condition for you. So answer of this uh, question is just two types, we can, minimum types can be two. Minimum, okay. What is the maximum possible number of different types of prices? Okay. Maximum can be, okay. So you have to remember the uh, means means two powers, a power of two, okay, so one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, that's how we go, okay, and sum has to be hundred, okay, now obviously if I see, if you go to this one, uh, six, uh, sixty-four, it is one twenty-seven, that sum is not possible, that means we can go till here, okay, so, and this last value we can write it as as much as we want okay some of these will be you know, 31 and then we can write it as 69 to make up just how many rounds will we have one two three four five six so that is the six different types of uh, 
means that is the maximum possible types we can seven types is not possible because then they will need more at least minimum 127 gifts which is not there uh, which of the following is not possible okay. there are exactly 75 of type e type e is uh, we, we can have one two four eight type e is this category can we have 75 of these types for that we need 25 of these types minimum we can have here is 15 if i increase this 8 to let's say 80 then we have this case total is 100 okay and we also have this e possible as 75 uh, there are exactly uh, 45 items of type c so a is one this is 45 that means the maximum we can have in a or b is just 23 because this can be 22 okay then total we have is 78 we need extra 22 we cannot have 22 just in d because d has to be more than c double more than double of c so we cannot have 45 in c because if we have 45 in c in d we need more than 90 okay and total items we have is 100 okay and we are just left 55 we have to give something in a and b also and the combination of a and b can maximum be just 22 so we will need d definitely okay but that is not possible b has just two so see uh, this option two is not possible at all uh, 16 you ask for a type of item in uh, box 45 instead of giving a direct answer you are told that there are 31 items of same type as box 41 in 1 to 44 and 43 items of same type in 46 to 100 so 43 plus 31 plus that box itself okay so we have 75 75 are same as this box 45 okay now what is the maximum possible number of different items uh, Okay. So if we have somewhere 75, so that has to be the last type, okay? Because 75 double of 75 will be 150. We, we need uh, we have just 100 prices, okay? So some of previous uh, prices, okay, means higher range prices has to be 40 uh, 25. Uh, if we see if we see this layer 1 2 4 8 15 plus 16 is 31 that exceeds to the requirement of 25. So we can have just four more types which are more uh, costlier than this type okay so and if we, we we can add the remaining numbers okay if you want we can just add 10 here so with just so maximum possible number of types can be just five okay we cannot have six types for six types we we, we need that should have been at least 31 okay so so you have to means uh, remember powers of two powers of three these are type of questions which are asked quite frequently in cat where you need to know the concepts related to powers now, now let's see the third set okay so we'll read the information first and then we'll solve the question princess queen rani samragini were four finalists in a dance competition uh, Ashman, Badal, Gagan, Liu were four music composers who individually assigned items to the dancers. Each dancer had to individually perform in two dance items assigned by different composers. So this is important. Okay, so different composers. Okay, first item performed by four dancers uh, were assigned by different music composers. Okay, so they were assigned different composers. No dancer performed her second item before the performance of first item by any other dancer. So they will perform uh, first act by in whatever sequence and then in the second uh, once everyone is done then anyone can start this uh, her sec second dance okay the dancer perform their second items in the same sequence as the performance of the first item so the sequence is same as the first item so that makes our case uh, a bit easy no composer who assigned items to uh, princess assigned any item to Queen, okay so composers are different okay so we'll, we cannot mark anything right now but princess and queen okay that we will keep in mind no composer who assigned to rani assigned to any items of samraki okay. 
So princess queen no common means there is no nothing common. Okay. So and uh, rani samragini nothing common. So they can be princess samragini will have same thing. Queen rani can have same thing or princess rani or queen samragini. Okay. First performance by princess. Okay. So I'll just make a small table. So I am just saying, princess here. That means princess has performed in the fifth uh, means uh, fifth item was also by princess. Okay, so that's I'm writing P here. Uh, this item was assigned by Badal. So this is Badal. Okay, B. Last was by Rani. That means Rani has performed on uh, fourth as well. Okay, and this was assigned by Gagan. Okay. Uh, items assigned by Asmunan were performed uh, consecutively. Now, all these 1, 2, 3, 4 are different. F to have performed consecutively, okay, performance, that means uh, they can be number 4 and 5 only. So, I am writing A here and A here. Okay. Now, next uh, is the number of performance between items assigned by each of the remaining composers was same. So, B here. B cannot be at number 5, B can be at 6, then we can have uh, U at 2nd position and then at 7th position and Gagan at 3rd uh, position and last position. So that is pretty easy assignment. Okay. So I am writing B here, Okay, I am writing G here, I am writing D here, I am writing D here. Okay. Now uh, we, we have to find these two positions which can be determined by these two statements. We'll reread these statements again. No composer who assigned to princess assigned any item to queen. So B A. Okay, that cannot be same. So queen cannot be the second place. This cannot be Q. So this has to be B. This has to be uh, S. And this has to be Q. Similarly, it's given that uh, no composer assigned to Rani uh, have and A same, uh, same as Samargini. So A, G, D. So they are different. Okay. So this whole sequence is clear. Okay, now we can easily answer the questions. Which of the following is true? Second performance was composed by Dew, which is correct. Third performance by Ashman, not correct. Second performance by Gagan, not correct. Third performance by Dew, not correct. Which of the following uh, is false? Samargini did not perform in any item composed by Ashman. Sam this is true. Okay. Princess did not perform to any item composed by D. This is uh, obviously this is also true. Queen did, Queen did not perform in any items composed by Gagan. Queen did not perform in any by, by Gagan. Um, that is not true. That is false. Rani did not perform to any uh, item composed by Badal. So that is true. So answer of this one is three. Sixth performance was composed by sixth was B, which is Badal. So, Badal. Which pair and or of performance were composed by same composers? Okay, so we can see second and sixth, second and seventh is same. So this not correct. First and seventh, first and seventh not correct. Third and seventh, third and seventh not correct. First and sixth, that is correct. So answer is option 4. So this was pretty easy question. We had to make just simple one uh, table with just three uh, rows and four columns and that was done. Okay. So very easy question should have been solved in the exam. Okay. So let's solve the last set of uh, this video. Okay. So last set of slot 1 of CAT 2019 DILR section. So let's see the question first, okay, and try to understand what are the cases given. A supermarket has to place 12 uh, items coded A to L in shelves 1 to 16. Five of these items are biscuits, three are candies, and rest are savories. Okay, so I'm just writing the notes on the left and right hand side. Okay, so biscuits five. Uh, then we are given that candies are three. Save these are remaining, which is four items are to be placed such that all items of the same type are clustered, clustered together. No empty shelf between 
items of the same type. Okay, so biscuits are together, five biscuits, then we can have gap. Uh, at least one empty shelf between two different types of items. So five biscuits, then we can have gap and candies or okay, uh, biscuits can be at the end. Okay, so there will be gap of uh, means some uh, cell, uh, shelf between two different types of items. At most two empty shelf can have consecutive number. At most two. So we cannot have more than three empty cells together. Okay. We have 12, we have 16, so we have to see that we have four empty cells. Okay, so I'm just writing empty also. Empty is four, and not means it's two plus one plus one or two plus two. It can be like that only. Three is not possible. Okay, so what? Because if you see, we have three groups. Okay, so uh, or it can be one plus one plus one. So either. In the beginning, okay, so if there are, uh, means, uh, there are three different types of uh, items, so one in the beginning, one in the mid, uh, means two gaps, which, between two gaps and one at the end, or it can be consecutively numbered, okay. Uh, now, it is given that, okay, following is, uh, inform additional facts are known, A and B are to be placed consecutively numbered shelves in increasing order. So, I am writing this additional information, okay, so. Point number one, A followed by B. They are of obviously same types, okay. So, I and J are to be placed in consecutively numbers, uh, numbered cells, both higher than shelves in A and B are kept. Now, between I and J, I don't know the uh, order, but we can say that I, A and B, so I and J are uh, have higher number than A and B. This is something which we can uh, combine 1 plus 2. Good, okay. D, E, F are same. Is okay, so we can write these numbers, okay. So names, their names, okay. So D, E, F. Okay. Uh, are to be placed in consecutively number cells in increasing order after all the biscuits and candies. Means that they, they are at the end, okay. Okay, and uh, consecutive number means D E F. That is the sequence we are talking about. K is to be placed in the shell number sixteen. Okay, that means that has to be part of series. So there is something which we all know. So I like K F E T. This has to be empty. Okay, so this has to be no one there. Okay, we don't know. Eleven can be empty, but then. 12 is for sure empty. Okay. L and G are three items of the same type. Okay, L and G are of the same type, while H, are, H is of different type. So we can write here that L and J, I are of the same type, and H is of the different type. Okay, C is a candy. Okay, so in C we can write candy. Uh, and is to be placed in a cell uh, preceded by two empty shelves. Okay. Now this is very important. Okay. Uh, is to be uh, placed in a shelf preceded by two empty cells. Okay. So C is in a shelf okay, which is preceded by two empty shelves. So what we'll do is we'll, we can write here that Two empty cells followed by C. Okay. L is to be placed in a shelf preceded by exactly one empty shelf. So L. Okay. So we have one empty shelf, then L again. Okay. Now we have to identify. Okay. So uh, savories is covered. Okay. Now we have to find biscuits and candies. Okay. C is definitely a candy. L, J, I are of the same type. If we have L, I, J, same type as candies, okay, number of candies will become 4, so which is not possible. So, L, I, J, they belong to biscuits. That means H is of different variety, so can H will become the candy. Now, uh, what are we left with? Okay, we have 
A and B together. A and B are together. That means uh, A and B cannot be part of candies because otherwise candies will become four. So now on the, uh, the time is on the coded item which is left is G. So I write G. So C now between H and G we don't have the order. So I write something like this. Okay. A and B order is fine. A and B will come bef uh, means before I and J. L will be at the first. Okay. Uh, now we, we, we can find the order. Okay. So savories are the at, are at the end. Okay. Now among uh, biscuits and candies we don't know which is coming first. Okay. So we have two cases. So I write one case when candies are coming first. Okay. So I write C H O G or G, then we have empty cell, then we will have I, L. A and B are before I and J, so I write A followed by B. Between I and J, we don't have any sequence, I'm just writing. Okay. Other case can be when biscuits are before candies, okay, then that case is empty, then we have again L, A, B, I or B, sorry, I or J. I or J followed by two empty cells. Okay, C, H or G, H or G. Okay, twelve to sixteen is intact. Okay, so these are the two possible ways. Okay, now let's uh, look at the uh, questions. In how many different ways can the item be arranged? Two different ways we have. Then H and G can be arranged in two ways. And I and J can be arranged in two ways. So total eight solutions are possible. So answer of this question is option two A. Which of the following items is not a type of biscuit? Okay, so biscuits we know L, I, J, A, B. So A, B are uh, biscuits. G is not a biscuit. L is a definitely biscuit. Which of the following can represent a number of empty shells in possible arrangement? So we see uh, uh, one seven one. 7, 8. So, means this is not possible. 11, 12 cannot be together. Okay, so this is not possible. Uh, 1, 2, 6, 12. This is a possible arrangement. 1, 2, 8, 12 is not there. Okay, 1, 2, 6, 12 is there. Okay, 1, 5, 6. It should have been 7, 8. Okay, so this is also not possible. Which of the following statement is necessarily true? There are at least 4 shells between B and C. B is here, so there are two cases. Okay, so I write B is here in one case, and first case. So there are obviously five shells. Okay, so first part is true. Second part we'll see. B is here and C is here. Now one, two, three, four. Here also at least four shells are there. Okay, so in both the cases there are at least uh, four shells between B and C. So uh, this is the solution of the last set. Okay. So that's all. Uh, this is the end of uh, CAT 2019 slot 1 DILS uh, section. Okay, part 2. Thank you very much.